Second question we need to ask ourselves, is it a worthy investment? Has it been a good user of the taxpayers' dollars? Let, let's start by looking at the successes of the district. The district continues to be very successful. Just three weeks ago, the district earned an A rating from the Arizona Department of Education. This is the third straight year the district has earned that A rating. Largest district in the state to be able to claim this. And when you look at the individual letter grades, it's extremely impressive. Every single high school here in Chandler is A rated. So what does that mean? You can look in the eye of any parent or future student and you can tell him or her that they are destined to go to an A-rated high school. Very impressive claim for a city our size. And when you, when you look even more into that, our high schools are performing so well. The Washington Post had an article ranking the top, the most challenging high schools in America. And then they broke it down into state by state. Three of the top 15 most challenging high schools in the state are right here in Chandler, including the top two in the entire Phoenix metro area. If I recall, the list broke down the, the top three schools were Tucson schools, number four was Flagstaff, number five, making it the top ranked uh, Phoenix Metro School was Fascia High, followed closely by Hamilton High, and Chandler High was number 13. Our high schools are doing great work. If you look at the 2012 Ames score for sophomores taking the Ames test, Chandler Unified sophomores placed number one in the state, every single category, math, reading, science, overall. Well, why is this significant? The 10th grade is the last year you are required to take the Ames test. So it represents a culmination of the education experience. So it shows that Chandler Unified is doing, is they are educating our children. And also it shows one more thing. When you look at standardized tests, they almost always follow the trend of the socioeconomic status of that community. And that being said, Chandler Unified should have by all rights had about three, maybe four districts test above it. And at some of the lower grades, that's what we did see. But it showed that the longer a student stays in Chandler, the better they do perform. CUSD is working. Each year, graduates from CUSD high, CUSD high schools earn millions in scholarship offers. The data is in for the past two years. Each of those years, the amount of scholarship offer money earned by the graduating class was approximately $80 million. If you divide that among every graduate, that's $25,000 in scholarship money per graduate. Per, this goes a long ways to making the dream of college education affordable. Last year, Chandler students earned 25,000 hours of direct college credit. 25,000 hours. It's important to note, many graduates from Chandler High Schools are now entering college as sophomores, in some cases with two complete years of college credit as they enter. The schools are doing great work. Well, what about the past? What has Chandler Unified done with past override money? Let's just name a few of the programs they've invested in. Number one, three years ago, they opened up the Knox Gifted Academy. Over the past few years, they've opened up several new CTAs and converted existing neighborhood schools into CTAs. For those not familiar with the term, it's CTA is Chandler Traditional Academy. Been a very popular model with parents and produced very impressive results. Now the third program I want to spend a little more time talking about because I think it does the best job illustrating what sets Chandler apart from some of the other educational available, uh, opportunities available here in the city. And that is the Chief Hill Learning Academy. Now what the Chief Hill Learning Academy does, it takes children who have struggled. Many of these kids have had academic problems, they've had uh, disciplinary problems. Bottom line, they're on the verge of failing out of high school. What the Chief Hill does is it takes these kids and provides them an alternative environment to earn credit towards their high school diploma at a modified rate. You see, Chandler Unified realized that it realizes it has a moral obligation to do everything in its power to do whatever it takes to provide high school diplomas for every student. And we here in society, Every time we see a child or hear a child graduate from high school, we should hear that cash register sound, that cha-ching, because as independent studies have shown, one by Northeastern University in Boston, one by University of Illinois, every time a child graduates, the cost benefit to society versus a non-graduate is $300,000. You set that child on a path to earning a four-year degree, that number jumps to a million dollars. Education is very valuable. Now you look at these three programs, on their own, they seem very disconnected. The Knox Gifted Academy, CTAs, and Chief Hill. But we look at them as a whole. What they point out is that CUSD has a program for every child. No matter what a child's unique ability, skill, or need might be, CUSD has a program for that child. They educate every child. Now, what about plans for the future? CUSD has very bright plans for the future. The governing board of directors has set forth very ambitious goals in Journey 2020. Meeting these goals is going to take money. It takes money for new programs, money to train teachers in these new programs. But once these programs are met, it will solidify Chandler Unified's legitimate claim 
to be one of not only one of the, the top districts in the state, one of the top districts in the country. CSD continues to test new programs. This is the second year of existence of AMS, Accelerated Middle School. It's a middle school taught within Basha High. This is the second year of existence of Arizona College Prep being offered at the Erie campus. This is a highly accelerated high school experience. Hall Elementary is experimenting with Singapore math. Uh, Singapore math is kind of a new comprehensive way to look at math. Uh, nationwide, it's met with a lot of success so far. So let's, CUSD has a record of success. They've been wise investors of past money, and they have a plan for the future. It is a worthy investment.